Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire. I'm your host, Bring It Dawn, and let's go talk to Edgar Swansea. Hey -ha. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. Kinda looks like me, but by the sake well, younger. Soul, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. Anything in here worth uh, grabbing? Since my last visit, hold on. Let's just rummage, and then we'll then we'll talk. All right, nothing to rummage. It looks like. All right, what's up, man? What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead, and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. Oh. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow, I do. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Sad Saint of the East End. Find him at the East End docks. Okay, so we're going back to the docks finally. That means I'm probably going to be talking to the most of the people there again. Because he's the pillar there. Oh, she wasn't part of the community. Harriet Jones wasn't part of the community. So I'm missing a hint for that guy. I have most of their hints. I have all of his. I'm missing some of hers. One of his as well. Most of his. Uh, it's probably something I could get by eavesdropping. Eavesdropping is a mechanic in the game I haven't really been pursuing. Uh, you can usually find. Oh, goodness. Ah, fatigue, fatigue, and fatigue. I can head back over there and treat everybody. If I do it, I'll probably do it off camera so that y'all don't have to watch me run around and heal everybody. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. But before I go there, um, last episode it showed that uh, there was... It told me that merchants had new stock available or something along those lines. So I'm going to check out the merchants here and see what's available. I think it's based on the quality or the uh, 
Yeah, the quality of the... Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Uh, the area, so like, the hospital's sanitized right now, so they should have... Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and... Better stuff. Yeah. Well, that looks all the same. Well, let's go check out Milton. Hopefully he has some good handle parts, I think is what I need to upgrade my... Dragon's Bane. Oh goodness. You are going to reveal all your secrets to me. Even the darkest thoughts in your heart. What on earth happened here? Ain't nothing good. Hmm. Wait, where did he drag her to? I guess I can follow the blood trail all the way back, right? Oh, Lady Ashbury. Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Butchered by some savage scal. Can we share this meal? Yes. And I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scal, I brought him here. Jonathan. How could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. What do you know of Ascalon? What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? Uh, he was huge. He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. Yeah, what the heck was that guy that threatened me? He didn't seem like a regular vampire. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? A hand of God in action? Are we repellent? To heaven. I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Okay. I know she didn't Thank kill you, her, so no need to even go down that path. Um... I kind of want to go to Whitechapel first and cure everyone, so that I don't have to backtrack. So I'm going to do that. I uh, know it's not very exciting on recording, but I want to go ahead and get it done before I go and uh, deal with Sean uh, Hampton. And let me get some fights in, because I'm all about fighting. Yeah, you like that? That's, gonna That's right, I want to try out my new ability too. Uh, I did very little damage. I said it was going to do damage, but I expected something. It was, I tickled him when I jumped to him there. That was maybe 10 damage. I not really sure. Wait, this is the dead end. Yeah, this is where that quest takes me. Uh, for when I did that crap for Teresa. Or is it Teresa? The uh, the vampire, the kooky vampire at the hospital. That's where you go for her, in her investigation. Over there. 
Ah, he's out of range. Oh, I'm out of stamina. There we go. Hey. It's done for him. Just keep wailing on you, big guy. Easy peasy, everybody. Easy peasy. I do really enjoy the combat in this game. I mean, it's not the greatest combat in any game, but it is it is fun. And I am having a time of it. Some skull there. This is a... the safer place is to... I don't know what you're saying, man. I don't understand. Filthy murdering bastard. Go on, back to the shadows. Now you stop that. Hey. Yeah, these guys aren't that big of a threat. They're annoying in a group because they have that stamina. Uh, stamina of damaging ability. Which is super duper annoying. Let's go down here and fight these guys. Again, I'm here for experience. Of course, here's the music. He's got red eyes. Gross. Oh, that was pretty easy. I have enough to level up an ability, so that's nice. Probably my health if I had to do something. Or stamina. Kind of keep them on par with each other. Alright. So let's see, who all needs healing? I know the father needs healing. And Barrett Lewis, Joe Peters. Okay, yeah, the guy's over there. Alright. They're all right there. Good evening, Mr. It's f Don't you fear faith? No doubt your faith. Bless. I have heard enough. How long have we known each other? We even used to be neighbors. Fancy you know? Do you need help? to be on? I really. Is there anything worth? Oh, yeah, that's right. I never checked in with Milton, did I? Eighty. Goodness gracious, it's expensive. It's probably what I need. I think I just need good handle parts, if I'm not mistaken. You again? Can I offer you? Keep your medit. There is all right. Goodbye. All right, cool. They're all healed. Let's head towards uh, the docks now. So I already know this way is clear. I'm gonna go back this way and through the hospital, and then head that head that way. Should be the quick, quickest route there. And actually, on the way there, I should probably look for a hideout. See what I need to upgrade uh, my stuff. Also, I still want to talk to Milton. See what uh, new products he might have. Pretty sure the hideout's like... It's up here, right? Yeah. What do I need to upgrade my... Dragon Bane. Three good handle parts. For this, I need three good trigger parts. Let me top off real quick. It's a very cheap ability.
All right, we're back at the hospital. Let's go check in with Milton and then head towards the docks. Heck yeah. Good evening. I'd like wise choice, doctor. You don't really have anything. Not uh, shotgun shells. Now tell what's waiting me over here. I've been over here in a while. This place. Hey! This one of them. <laughs> I didn't expect these guys right here. I'm gonna stamina regen a little bit, and I'm gonna kind of finishing blows. There we go. Flawless. Densbury Gate. Oh, yeah, this is all a new area to explore. This is the hospital area. I don't think I've been over here before. Or have I? Well, this guy's new, at least. Ah, gosh darn it. Come out of here. Oh, it also drains my blood. I didn't know that. Okay, well, I'm going to spend a little bit of time exploring, since I'm not uh, sure I've been over here before. Die, it's a lot that I don't like. Whoa, it's very delayed. Thing. I mean, there's a lot of guys over here. I this area was sanitized. That meant less dead, less enemies, not less dead enemies. A little bit of FPS drops around here as well. And this just takes me back around to the hospital, right? Yeah, except never happened back here. Also, well, seem relatively familiar. Oh, cool. Let's me bypass terrain as well. That's pretty important. It is a weird delay going on with my attacks because I didn't press an attack button anywhere near that last attack. I can't believe I'm doing this. I mean, neither, man. You gross. I have this thirst for blood. We're good. I got more loot. I love loot, so I'm gonna make sure that I get all that I can. What up, bud? That's a little annoying. How's it not hurt you running through this? Oh, I guess because they have those masks on. That's all I need is a mask to put on. That should be good, right? Oh, 
All right, hold on. Let's take care of this guy, then I'll take care of that darn crossbow guy. Hey, you be nice to me. I think I'm a very handsome man. Oh, what? Wow, it's a lot rougher than I was expecting. This game can be difficult. I feel like I'm not really hurting for experience. I guess I could be doing a lot better if I was feeding on people, obviously. There's a lot of them are worth like 5,000 experience. What would I be strong? So I feel like I'm doing relatively well without it. I've been down there before because I've made the jump across, right? That's where I think it is. I can see him, but I can't see him from here with my blood vision. Vampiric sense. But I know he's there. This is like an ambush spot. But no ambush. Ambushers. Ambushers. If I go this way, I can probably jump over there to him, right? There's a boat here. Maybe I haven't been here before. Does that lead to the sewers again? I think that it does. Yeah, it takes me. I don't want to go here. Oopsies. And this is sanitized as well, because it's part of the uh, Pembroke Hospital. Alright, and this runs me all the way back across. Okay, so I have been down here before. Let's head back across the river then. The boat wasn't very exciting. Did I go over here? Yeah, I opened that up. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, again, for being in an area that's supposed to be sanitized, it's very infested with uh, the Guard of Pruin. This place is stable. Hmm. This place that looks inhabited. Oh, cover letter. So got a hint for Booth Digby. Oh, shillings. Alright, so this must be a resident of... Oh, speaking of Booth Digby. Can I talk to you right now? Mr. Man, I'm gonna rub up against you till you decide you wanna talk to me. There we go. 
Good evening, sir. I knew it'd work. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? You're a concerned criminal? So you're a concerned criminal, is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. I could kill you for saying that. But, nah. You've been a soldier. I can respect that. <laughs> so, tell me about your gang. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right? The wet boot boys work for me. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. Well, that's good. What can you tell me about this part of town? Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. We give people what they need, and we control this borough. Well, you're not doing a very good job. People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. And if Weiner says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. More efficient? Really? You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more smart than patient. My sweet queen of the docks. I know you're looking for an honest job, Booth. You're tired of this criminal life, aren't you? It's just an idea. Edwina loves to run things so much. You can never really leave the gang. Wet boys for life, you know? Okay, so she's the wife to uh, our friend at the hospital, Claycox. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Goodbye. Okay. Also, there's no loot back here. This looks like a lootable spot. Gosh darn it. So that's still Booth Digby. That's Edwina. For now, everything seems. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by clay. I'm not here to collect payment, miss. Miss Edwina Cox. So, what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Kinda, yeah. What do you got? Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Hmm. Ah, just common handle parts. Nothing good. It's all garbage. Uh, kind of concerned I don't have anywhere to save right now. Rena Cavendish. Pleasure, sir. Good evening. Hello again. Uh, let's see. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. 
I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld. I kind of was. Fair enough. Stay away from us then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Yeah, but I'm what a can vampire. you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. Okay. You still use your husband's name, Edwina. Why is that? Why shouldn't I? He may be a bloody bastard, but I'm still his wife and his name means something round here. You never paid him a visit at the Pembroke Hospital, did you? And I don't intend to. In Clay's case, I'm not against a medical mistake or a little help from the Spanish flu. Okay. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard. But he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened? But you executed him anyway. No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory, and this is our law. And your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Doctor Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. Ooh, Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. Behind all your crude words and your attitude, I sense romance and a soft heart, Miss Cox. Romance? I have no time for such rubbish. I use Booth like I use everyone else. Oh, okay. I failed a hint. I guess that's fine. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Goodbye, miss. Alright, let's get back to this guy, because I have another hint for him. You. Tell me about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done round here. No one gives a shit. How short is this guy? Is it... Am I on a slight incline? Well, look at this. I've got like a foot and a half, maybe even two feet on this guy. Good lord. Are you so heartless that you could pull the trigger and kill someone without even blinking? Have you looked around recently? Do you really think one more body will make a difference? Okay. Goodbye. Well, I need to find a way to save, since I'm over here and all. Um. This is despicable. I think I'll be alright, old Jonathan.
Maybe there's a hideout up here? Yeah. Have I been in this one yet? Looks like I may have. Yeah, okay. I remember this one. Well, we're going to call it here. I'm going to save. And um, hopefully I'll see y'all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.